Welcome back to Leftovers with Annie. The show where each week I receive a mystery product from Ace and I need to figure out how to use it in my home. And don't forget, click that subscribe button so you're not missing out on any of these projects. Let's see what's in the bag this week. Clark and Kensington paint. By the looks of this paint can lid, I think it's gonna be a good color. Let's open it up and check. Wow, is this a bold color. There's not much in here. I think this color would be perfect for an accent wall, and I know just the room. Let's go take a look. Welcome to my sunroom. This is where I get a lot of my inspiration, and I'm gonna take that red tulip paint, and I'm going to paint a stripe on this wall, but not a little stripe, a wider stripe. And where most people stop, at the ceiling, I'm gonna continue it. This is gonna bring a neat modern flair to this space. And I'll be out of leftover paint. I went ahead and cleared out this space. I want my stripe to be wide. So I'm gonna start my line from two feet from the wall. The best part of this project is that with a little bit of tape and a little bit of paint, I'm gonna completely transform this space. Use a level to get straight lines for this project. A quality painter's tape locks in the color to avoid bleed through. The color on the wall is Clark and Kensington Abstract Gray. And as you can see, it makes a great neutral color. Wow, does that room look bigger. If you like that, check out the wall I did using brush strokes that took less than five minutes. 